Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Haro Hobby Gaming and in this episode of If It Goes, I'm gonna review one of the two of Queen of PV and this is the Myrmi drone. Yes, this is the Galente drone boat and this is that 7 battle cruiser and I will be making two section for this Myrmidon uh, the one is for brawling mode and the one is for long range mode okay now let's go to the proper introduction of this Myrmidon Galente Myrmidon for the roll bonus she gives us plus 15 kilometers drone control range and advanced medium drone upgrade we can get plus 150% drone DPS if we got advanced medium drone upgrade level 5 and plus 25% drone percent, uh, I mean plus 25% drone EHP now this is a bonus which can make her a good brawler better cruiser command bonus per level she give plus 7 0.5 percent per level armor repair efficiency so we can get plus 37.5 percent armor repair efficiency so you can see this is we are using corpum c type medium armor repairer the base armor repair for this was just 500 and it was upgraded by amount 250 so we got per cycle armor repair 7 154 okay and now this is the fitting explanation for the brawling mode okay let's first go to the light slot we got pitum c type medium torpedo launcher so why do you why do we use torpedo launcher not the rapid missile launcher because the medium rapid missile launcher was nerf bad me very very bad you don't have enough damage to do to enemies any enemies but the torpedo launcher still have a good damage against all enemies except the frigates and destroyer but because we are a drone boat we can aside that effect with our drones and our drones can kill the brigade and destroyer easily so for this torpedo launcher we got activation time about 6.4 seconds and missiles range about 11.88 kilometers okay next let's go to the middle slots because we are brawling mode we need to have energy nosferatu Mm, we can use the large one because this Galente, I mean Myrmidon Galente, don't have enough for grip. The base with the skills of Battle Cruiser Engineering Maximum is just 976. So we don't use any large models on this Myrmidon. Okay, we got Fricolacus Medium Energy Nosferatus two of them and one predator stasis will be fired it's just to help us kill the enemies easily and our drones will kill the frigates and destroyer more easily okay next for the drone i use nk7 valkyrie this is the fastest of the mk7 and medium drones the fastest and have explosion damage and the second one was the mk7 infiltrator this is the second fastest so we are using the fastest and the second fastest of the drones i mean the medium drones and the mk7 infiltrator is mainly used for reducing the enemy shield while the MK7 Valkyrie does a magical amount of damage. It's a good damage. Okay, for the low slots, we got this Doomsie type medium microwave drive. This is just 
for us to approach the enemy more easily. And the second one was Kerpium C-type medium armor repairer. We got two of them, and this is Corpus Corpus C-type adaptive armor hardener. Yes, this is for our damage more damage resistant. And the last was Nest Bomb Drone Damage Amplifier. We just can use one of these because the <coughs> the low slot just only can fit five slots. Okay, and let's go to the rigs. For this brawling mode, we got on Firepower Augmenter 3. This is to give our drone damage bonus by 17.5% and Drone speed, speed Augmentor Activation Time Adjustment by minus 12.5% And we got two of these So we, we adjust more of the Drone Activation Time You can see our Activation Time for Drone, I mean Medium Drones was 2.99 seconds Yes, so three point per shoot is fine very good okay next for the navigation rigs we got semiconductor memory cell this is to upgrade our capacitor capacity by 22.5 percent and this is targeting system sub control 3 why we do use this because somewhat better cruiser is start to slowly lock on the frigates and destroyer we want to build them more fast and this is the capaci capacitor control circuit 3 for our capacitor recharge time adjustment and you can see when we are using just uh, medium modules our capacitor was stable Okay, look at that. Our capacitor capacity was at 3,479 and our capacitor recharge rate was not minus. This is helped by the Freak Plus Medium Nosferatus 2. Okay, let's go to the combat demonstration of this Brawling Mode Myrmidon. Just swap at zero. Warp drive active. And set our approach at, I think, 9. Okay, 8 is so fine. And, okay, orbit 8. Okay, nice. This is versus, that's 8 enemies. Okay, kill this Corby Dragon. Ooh, this is the Dragon. Oh, there's no frigates here. Okay, you can look at that. Okay, nice. Okay, you can look at our capacitor. It was not going slow. I mean, it was not not going down. And it's very nice. Boom. Oh, nice damage. So with this setting, we can send me AFK or away from your gadget or anything. You can send me AFK here. If you want to do the story with basics, it's fine with this fitting. You must just do this. Better settings, auto attack target, auto look back, auto orbit on. Let's look. Let's auto orbit target and auto attack. This is a setting for our 
AFK and you will be good no 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 we don't need this micro warp drive uh, look at that we can kill that oracle very very fast So our DPS was sitting at 943.52 with the drone's DPS about 661 and missile's DPS about 281. So what you need to do is just auto attack and let ah. you'll be automatically orbit the enemies and put on your Nosferatus and you will be good so because we are that 7 battle cruiser and we are still using medium modules it's best to do the that's eight or that's nine encounters and that's six or that's eight story that's the best i mean if you can go to the that's ten story but it will take very very long time and it won't be um, time effective And look at that, our it's just auto attack and we don't need to put any other ass. Just let it the Mirmidon kill the enemies. So the destroyer uh, with our torpedo we can have a damage about 700 let's see with the cruiser how much damage we have oh 1200 it's good Okay, maybe the auto attack is not necessary because it will take the battleship or the battle cruiser or the largest enemies first and we don't want to spend our time killing the enemies i mean the enemy's largest ship okay wave 2 done and this is the third wave and we are very quickly killing the enemies okay let's kill this force and if we activate this smash bomb drone damage amplifier let's take a look how dps Oh, it goes up to 1119.40. It's nice. Wow.
So, um, when you are running a armor ship, you can choose to fight the Amar, I mean the lesser enemies. Why? Because our armor, look at that, our armor defense was very high against EM and Thermal. So, it was very nice to fight the Amar or the lesser enemies you don't need to upgrade your rigs or may or put your defense rigs and you can focus on your attack rigs okay nice So, um, this is max skill for all uh, on this test server, and our drones control range was at 50 kilometers base, base plus drone skill and plus this one drone control range plus 15 kilometers. So you can look at the enemies tier 8 ships, we can kill them easily and very very fast. So it is nice and we don't need any hassle to finish them. And you can try this fitting with the type 6 or type 8 but you must be fake, be careful for type 8. But that six, that six story, you can do this easily, like super soft ring or maybe um, the armor story one. I forgot the name, sorry. Let's do. Ah, this one, Spark of Rebellion. You can do this easily. Okay, and that's it. This is for the brawling mode of the Mirmidon and. The next to us, the long range kiting and fitting. Okay, here we go. And this is the second fitting. And later will be a, a combat demonstration for this fitting. And this is the long range fit. And let's see what's the fitting like. Okay. You can see my power grid was very, very full. This is our power grid was 1215 strip 1220 so it's just five power grid left <laughs> we we want to maximize our power grid so what we got in our hack slot we got MK7 large missile launcher and this is not the best missile launcher but because of the power grid of this marmidon we can use two hurricane large missile launcher so this is my fitting mk7 large missile launcher and the next one is pc type large missile launcher so this is the best and versus not the best missile launcher but we can still fit in the ships so for the next we got three target halo painter LA target painter this optimal range about 36 km and accuracy fall off about 90 kilometers and it is to upgrade or adjust the enemy signature radius by 38.75 percent it is very very good for long range or sniper or yeah you can call it this is very good for long range type but the short range type 2 is very nice too so we can hit the enemy easily 
and on the drone I'm not changing anything just the rigs and for the low slots I still have my micro warp drive and nice warm drone damage amplifier three of them I got three of them and you can look out the PS was down to 701 um, before the brawling mode we got dps about 900 and now for the long range mode we got offense dps about 701.13 and this one is hook missile guidance computer this is to upgrade the range of our missile launchers and if you looking at where to upgrade my flight range i mean my missiles optimal range this is it you must look at flight time bonus and velocity speed of your missiles oh sorry and the rigs i changed the rigs all of the rigs from combat and navigation i got three drone control range augmentor three so we are upgrading our drone control range to 95 kilometers this is the max drone control range for now until we can have level 4 drone control augmentor and because we are using large missile launcher we are using three power grid ancillary power grid water tree this is to upgrade our power grid we got three of them so before just our power grid just 900 and so so for now it got 1220 20. and our capacitor is not stable at all it's five minutes and 50 seconds but it's fine because we are not using any energy at all we're just using this one activation cost for target painter and the activation for this nest warm damage amplifier so it's it's fine for capacitor not stable okay let's go to the combat demonstration for this long range fitting let's warp at 100 course warp drive active whoops okay we are here okay fine let's let's do this Let's just stop here and AFK killing the enemies. Okay, oops. Which one? Okay, okay, this one first. Why? Oops. Mm, sorry, I don't know what happened here. I'll stop first. Okay, here we go. I think it's fixed. Um, sometimes there's a bug like that, but I don't know why. Ah. Boom. Okay. This is versus stats 9 enemies. Okay. And if we activate these three Nash Bomb modules, let's see how much is our DPS. Oh, our DPS was at 1111. Oh, it's nice. It's nice and our activation time for 
the drone was at 2.24 which is nice so with range of this and with our large missile launchers like at prophecy i have reviewed before we will have non-ideal weapon because if we use the medium missiles launcher we just looking at idle weapon you can see the, the medium missiles launcher just maximum at about i think 50 kilometers while this large missile launcher can have a range about 99.3 kilometers which is very very nice ah, look at that if the enemy is very slow we can look at the enemies is killed very very fast oh this is talos too okay oh there is dominics okay that is battleship class and let's see how fast we can kill the, the Dominics it's it's a shame the Dominics don't have a throne but if the enemies have a throne we will be very uh, I think we will have a very difficulty killing the enemies and we will have a difficulty so five No, oh, the Talos we can kill them easily. Okay, next. The Dominics. Boom. Oh, look at that. Mm, wait, I think I must set the approach to 90 to or 91 I think okay 91 is fine so our drone range will be nah Whoa. So I think it doesn't take a long time to kill the Dominics. Um, let's see how much our large missile launcher do damage. It's one, eight hundred, one thousand and one hundred. Okay, that's good. So we got additional damage about one thousand and eight hundred. Oh, the enemies hit us. Okay. It's a lucky shot, I think.
Okay, nice. Boom. The enemy is killed. Nice. Oh, there's Megatron. Okay. Let's approach. Oh, this one. Okay, let's just stop here. It should take a lot of activation time because you can see um, large missile launcher activation time was. 16.54 second it is very very long but it's fine as long as your weapon is not either i mean when you are using medium missile launcher you are the mainly only from the drones and if your enemy is getting close uh, your missiles will hit but it will take a time to hit the enemies i mean they must go as close as you can about 50 or 40 kilometers but with these large missile launchers you can have about 99.3 kilometers but our skill is max and if you are not max in a large missile launcher you will want to invest a little and this is this missile launcher is good and you will have upgrade to your flight time you can see um, let's see missiles large for operation you will have torpedo damage or torpedo explosion reduce uh, or large missile uh, for the upgrade large missile upgrade this one will give you the flight range you can see for the maximum level 5 basic upgrade you will have flight time plus 10 percent and torpedo velocity large or missile or torpedo velocity plus four percent so this two status will give you more range and this one too will give you plus five percent and plus three percent more and for the export plus five percent more and plus three percent more so it will add your additional range for your missiles launchers Oh, this is the Megatron we are hitting. Mm. I think it won't take a long time to kill the Megatron. It's nice. Okay, 
Um, for middle slots, you can change one of these target painter to one armor repairer. I mean this. It's slot. Group armor repairer. You can change to this. You can have large armor group maybe. But the full consumption is very very large. Maybe you want the medium one. The medium one don't need much much more fuel consumption but a little armor repair but it's fine okay nice seven enemies next Okay. Okay, this one is Let's go. So you can see the enemies is using micro warp drive and our medium drone is still can hit the enemies easily. That is the advantage of medium drone. So if you um, later if you are running a Dominic's or maybe Armageddon, you will still want to bring your medium drones just for killing the frigates the enemy's frigates or the enemy's destroyer because the large drones can keep up with the enemy's micro warp drive but if you are using medium drones you can keep up so you lecturer will review the another build of Dominic's and we will bring medium and large drone and we will change the drone at the middle of the battle okay nice Let's approach the other Megatron. Oh, sorry. That is the Alos. I think that is the Megatron because the icon is look almost the same. Okay, nice.
Let's stop here. Oh, it's like I think. Okay, we are finished here. So that's it. Um, that's a comment combat demonstration for long range fitting for this Myrmidon, and it was very very good for long range, and it was very good too for brawler fitting. And how do you think? And if you like this video, please press like and. If you want any ships to be reviewed or to be, um, you can have. I mean, you will you have a request for unique fitting or maybe max fitting or max performance for specified ship. You can request on the comment section, and that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next video goodbye